played and the games get saved so they can be played on another day. Rav's Arcade. Well, good morning and hello, everybody. Welcome back once again to Rob's Arcade. I am your host, as always, Rob French, and hanging out with me today is my good buddy, R4. That's right. And it is Wednesday, so it is time for the midweek breakdown. Now, for those of you who are new to the channel and are not quite sure with the midweek breakdown, it's is it's pretty simple. I like to hang out with you guys at least twice a week on Mondays, just kind of get you going, get you started, see how your weekend was. And then I like to hang out with you guys again in the middle of the week, kind of get you through that midweek hump. And uh, it's new comic book day, of course. So I like to hang out with you guys and just, uh, you done? Thank you. Uh, it was a new comic book alert. But yeah, it's all about comic books here on Wednesday. Just like to hang out with you guys, talk about comic book stuff, shows, news, just all that kind of stuff, as well as run out and grab some new comic books and share with you guys what I pick up. So hopefully all you guys are doing awesome out there. Special shout out to all my R cadets, my subscribers out there hanging tough with me. If you're not a subscriber, man, go ahead, hit that button now. Always got tons of fun stuff here. And Rob's Arcade to kind of get you through the week and get you through your day. And I always love to get feedback and comments. So don't be shy while you're hitting that subscribe button to type down in there in the comment section and, you know, hit that like button as well. Hopefully you guys are doing good. I'm doing okay, although I am a little bit uh, funky today. They cut off the water to do something here in the building. So I haven't had my shower yet and I'm feeling a little bit, a little gross. And I might have to poop soon. And I really don't know what I'm going to do. This is a situation that can go from slightly discomforting to very dire and deep people. So please, if you're down there in the comments section, maybe send me a little prayer <laughs> to get me through this new comic book day. <clears throat> like, speaking of new comic book day, uh, I like to head down to the comic book club. That's where I usually pick up all of my books. Uh, they have a great show on Wednesday as well. I suggest you guys check them out. Like if you even want to maybe stop this video, go check out their video. They'll show you like everything that not only, you know, like came out this week as far as like um, the comics go, but like, you know, figures and books and all, all that kind of stuff. And why do I feel like, is it just me or is it like, it's like a weird light and it gets dark. Maybe it's just me if I move. I don't know, maybe I'm tripping out. Maybe it's too much coffee. Maybe I'm dirtier than I thought. See, yeah, I bet. See, am I crazy? I don't know. Maybe I am. Maybe I'm losing my mind, people. You're seeing it all happen right here. I'm dirty. I'm losing my mind. I'm completely unraveling here on Rob's Arcade. Um, so yeah, uh, definitely check out the Comic Club. Like I said, they'll show you everything that comes out this week and then you can kind of hang out with me and I'll show you exactly exactly what I picked up um, as far as comics go. Uh, today is Wednesday, so it's also the new episode of Hawkeye, which I'm not sure if you guys have been keeping up with that, but I have been liking that show a lot. I mean, I feel like everything that's on Disney Plus nowadays is just like really, it's like their movies, uh, so far Marvel's films just haven't really been grabbing my attention, but all of the different uh, television shows that they've had on Disney Plus have just been really, really A+. And uh, this this latest sh episode has not, uh, God, I'm not going to give you any spoilers. Uh, if you haven't seen it yet, definitely a, a very cool episode. We're like halfway through uh, the, the little, um, I can't say the S word or my phone will think I'm saying her name. Uh, but we're halfway through that little mark there on the, on the third episode now. And uh, it looks like it's it's just a lot of fun. It looks like I like the heart, I like the action, and it feels very much like it just fits in with the rest of the uh, MCU and the rest of their franchise. Uh, the like the, the movies like Shang Chi and Black Widow. I mean, yeah, of course they feel part of that universe, but it feels very forced. And uh, this new show with Hawkeye uh, does not, and it didn't, I think, pick up. Uh, like Loki and WandaVision. 
Falcon Winter Soldier. I don't think it had some of those numbers uh, as far as its um, like you know initial release. Uh, but I think it'll pick up a lot of steam as it as it gets going. And, you know, Hawkeye's always kind of like the Aquaman, uh, but of the joke of the Avengers. He's just a guy who like runs around with a bow. And I think this uh, little uh, piece from Disney Plus will really not only um, highlight the Kate Bishop character that we see in the show, but really um, shine some more light onto uh, to Clint Barton there because you know, he's a uh, yeah, he, yeah, he's a big, he's a big member of the Avengers, and you know, uh, he doesn't, you know, get a lot of credit. You know, just like he's just some guy with a bow, but he's a lot more, he's a lot more than that. So I don't know. I've been liking it a lot. If you haven't caught any of that, the new episode is available today on Disney Plus. So definitely check that out. And uh, I also like to share with you guys not only the comic books that I pick up. I'd like to share with you how many books a week I've read. And I'm really excited because the last few weeks, the numbers just have not been there. Uh, we're looking at like maybe like 10 one week. And then the week after it was only like five. Um, but I hit 23, the lucky number 23 issues this week, which is really, I got a lot of reading in this past weekend. Just any of my downtime uh, over Saturday and Sunday, just flipping through books and I gotta tell you people that's like one of the best things I think you can do and like why I get really excited about the Wednesday show because I really do enjoy comics and I really think that if more people read comics on a regular basis the whole world would just be a better place I mean I really don't understand uh you know it's it's easy when you know you kind of grow up um with like these kind of like morals, you know, regardless of like a religion or anything like that, that, you know, is attached to these stories. Um, but when you kind of grow up with these morals and these characters that really do know right from wrong, you spend your whole life reading these books every day, you know, uh, every week, week in and week out. It's hard not to uh, kind of rise to that level of just being a decent person. And I just feel like it just makes you such a better person. The comic book club, We'll say it's like your best superpower, you know, reading makes you strong. It makes you like, it does. I think, I think it's a, a great way to get people into reading who might not be into reading otherwise. That's kind of how I got into books, Stephen King and, <clears throat> you know, some of my other favorite um, authors. I like, like you know, Louis Steve, uh, Louis, uh, uh, um, I can't even think of his name right now. Um, but <laughs> it tells you how much I like that guy. But I got into those books because I got into reading through comic books. Um, and like I said, not only does it like, you know, help you with just, you know, reading and just getting into that whole thing, but I just, like I said, you can't, like the, just, just yesterday, I was at a, at a Walgreens and I was just in line to grab a, a, a quick little soda or whatever, energy drink. And um, there was a lady in front that had like all this stuff and this like, really jacked up cart and was having a hard time just like even getting around the store and everybody in front of me, there was like three people in front of me and then including the cashier all kind of like offered to help and knew it was the right thing to do. And Oh ma'am, if you let me clean this line out, I'll help you to your car. And then the next lady being rung up was like, Oh, if you just, if, if you want to wait till I'm rung up, I'll, I'll help you. And just nobody just like stepped out of line. I, I, I just, I, as soon as she was, checked out. I just helped her with her stuff and helped her to the car. And I got back in line with my drink and I didn't, you know, I didn't lose like the two seconds out of my day, but it just blew my mind that everybody knew it was the right thing to do to help this lady to her car. Everybody knew in front of me, all three people in line knew in front of me. They all suggested like, Oh, I'll help. I'll help. Nobody did it. And I seriously doubt any of those people read comic books and that's my that's my proof that's my theory behind this whole thing if you read comic books and you just you know you grow up reading spider-man and superman and wolverine at the end of the day you just can't help but do do the right thing if you were listening to my monday show i spent the better part of uh, my monday afternoon and a couple hours yesterday uh, tuesday cleaning up the pond out back at my apartment complex and i didn't do it for any other reason than that i'm just walking by as I was walking my dog and looking at it, I was just like, who, who can honestly live here, walk by this every day 
and not do something. Like it just, it blew my mind. And I just, I couldn't, you know, I couldn't take it. I just had to finally get out there and, uh, and clean it up. And I, I picked up two bags of trash in this pond. And uh, there's two more on the property I wanted, I wanted to, you know, get at eventually, um, maybe over this weekend or something. But it just like, you know, you just, as, as a person who reads comics, it's just like, you know, what would Spider-Man do? Or even what would Peter Parker do? What would Clark Kent do? If Clark Kent, <clears throat> exactly, what would um, R4 do <laughs> if you were just walking by and, uh, you know, you see this, you just, I don't know, I just, you, it, to me, it makes you a better person and I wish everybody um, would take the time to read more comics. That's kind of why why I do this. And I'm not really going to waste a whole uh, a whole lot more time. I'm going <clears> to <throat> at least change out of these, uh, this funky shirt and, uh, and and kind of freshen it up a little bit, a little bit of a holeless bath, and then uh, head over to the comic book club and pick up some new some new issues. So uh, don't go anywhere, guys. Hang tight. Um, I'll be back in just a few minutes, show you what I picked up, and then of course you want to hang out till the very end and see what our fours pick of the week is. So don't go anywhere, guys. I'll be I'll be back in just a few. Hopefully, a little bit cleaner. All right, guys, we are back. Hope that didn't take too long. Thanks for sticking around. New comic books, yes, I know. All right, well, I uh, had a great trip to the comic shop. Really quiet there today. Usually when I go in, there's like a huge crowd of people. Maybe I just missed that first rush and the later burst and kind of got in there right in that little little middle, middle window there, but uh, Great selection today. Uh, always just a great time hanging out with Dwayne and Dolly. They run a great shop. And if you guys are ever in the Brandon, Tampa, Florida area, you need to hit that place up, check them out. You save a lot of money. My wife was giving me heck a while back about how much money I spent at the comic shop. And I mean, it's like, even today, I spend like more than like half of what I used to spend at the perk less than half more than half less than half of what i used to spend <laughs> at the uh at, at my old stores back in virginia um and it's just it's crazy they save you so much money they got a little stamp card remember like subway used to have a little stamp card get a free comic book save money with like a secret little secret word their secret word today was annual and i'm starting to understand why but let's let's not waste any more time. Let's go ahead and jump into these comics here and show you guys exactly what I picked up. And like I said, make sure you hang out through the whole video because we're going to get our force, uh, our force pick of the week, which I'm really surprised. Uh, first up to bat is actually an issue from last week, but I'm kind of surprised uh, this issue wasn't our force pick of the week this week. Uh, but this is the uh, Star Wars Adventures Annual, and um, I always love a little bit of uh, Jackson there. He said it was going to be, but then he changed his mind at the last minute. There's no Jackson in it, but he's on the cover. How do you know? How do you know? You haven't even read this yet. Apparently all Star Wars comics are immediately downloaded into his databanks when they come out. And he's saying there's no Jackson in this book. And that's why it wasn't his pick of the week. And he's right, I don't see any Jackson in this. It's like a, like a bunch of other little rabbits, but no Jackson. Yeah, I told you so. Okay, well, still, you know, I love Star Wars Adventures. They got me. I probably wouldn't have bought this. <laughs> <laughs> that I've known otherwise. Why did you tell me that? Jeez, thanks a lot, R4. All right, keeping up with Star Wars, we got uh, 
Star Wars Bounty Hunters number 18. Now this was a series I wasn't sure I was going to keep on, oh I said the S word, I wasn't going to keep on um, collecting once the War of the Bounty Hunters was over, but I decided to kind of give each issue one more run to see if it really snagged me and pulled me in. Uh, the Dr. Afra series really hasn't got me, um, so that's probably going to be the last issue um, last week of uh, that run. Um, I don't know after this issue of Bounty Hunters if I'm going to keep collecting this story. I know it's sad. Um, but Darth Vader, uh, the, the title um, that I also got into through the Bounty Hunters saga, I may keep up with because it ties very much into the actual um, Star Wars. It's Darth Vader too, yeah, I know. It ties very much into the actual Star Wars comic title um very close knit to you know uh the story uh that takes place um in between the movies and uh kind of interested to see where a lot of this may go so this may stay on the uh the monthly checklist there although i feel like some of the other star wars titles might be getting kind of like you know <laughs> yeah kicking kick the bucket <laughs> kick the bucket <laughs> all right this was my title that was free this month or this week um with my stamp card the new mutants one of the only titles that i've really been getting into i've been trying to give all of these x-men titles like a good run and try to give them um kind of like the benefit of the doubt and and i keep reading them and keep trying but nothing's really sticking with me except for the new mutants and wolverine but x-force x-factor x-men None of those books really seem to be catching me. But The New Mutants has been a lot of fun. I, I have been enjoying that title and that aspect. Uh, jumping into DC, we have um, from their black label, Human Target number two from Tom King. And I love this kind of uh, Pennyworth games up to eight players. I don't know if this is like a board game or if it's supposed to be some kind of like Dungeons and Dragons kind of card game thing going on here. But yeah, I went with this cover, just very cool. And something else I'm doing too, which I did a lot of in Virginia, was just buy, like if they had four covers, I'd buy every cover and I just, you know, um, lately I've been just picking the one cover that I like and just sticking with that one cover. Interesting. So, okay, um, like I said, this was kind of like a, an annual release. Uh, DC did a bunch. Uh, let's start with Batman. We have the annual Batman 2021. Love this cover with the Ghost Maker Saga concluded. This has been running um, in like the back issues of Batman and Detective Comics and stuff like that, which I've been liking a lot. Like Batman. And some of the uh, the Bat Family stories have been doing a great job at doing those like B stories, um, which I've always enjoyed. One of the reasons why I'm not really hating on this issue here of the Star Wars is because inside, as you can see, you get two tales, and I've always enjoyed that about comics. Anytime you get two stories out of a comic book, I think that's always uh, I don't know, just more bang for your more bang for your buck. Also, we have the Nightwing 2021 annual with not only one, but two Robins on the cover, the original and the second, Dick Grayson and Jason Todd, AKA Nightwing, and the Red Hood. Very cool, I'm looking forward to reading that. And speaking of Robins, we have the Robin annual in this teeny bopper, like teen beat, tiger beat, I love it. Just absolutely love it. I'm almost hoping to like open this up and have like center folds of Damien like posing in his bed on the phone, kind of like this. Hey, hey, girl, call me. A little, remember that a little spiral phone cord, kind of like making the border around the poster. Come on, everybody remembers those. My sister's room was like decorated and them. Um, all right, guys. Well, here we are. We've reached the pinnacle of the episode. We're going to get our fours pick of the week. So drum roll, please.
All right, guys. Well, all right, here we go. Da, da, da. Spawn number 324. Now, this is interesting. I'm surprised uh, R4 went with this over some of the uh, Star Wars titles. I mean, so we see. But he is aware at how big and how important this title is to me. Um, always been a big fan, always been a huge fan of Spawn. In fact, Spawn is like one of those books that just really got me into comics back in the 90s. And uh, I just, you know, I think both of us are just really excited and looking forward to where this, this new chapter after 300 is heading. We're like crossing that first quarter point of the 300. Um, we got Carlo Barberi doing the artwork, which it's just, it's really screaming like that late 90s, kind of mid late 90s run. That image was so, let me see if I can find a great page. Like, here we go. Like, this is just that pinnacle image artwork that I knew growing up. And I don't know, just something about it. I'm just really looking forward. Um, still only $2.99. Every other book I bought, this one's $5.99. $3.99, $4.99, still $2.99. Don't tell my wife, $8.99, oh, $7.99, $8, eight bucks. So here we go. I think that's kind of sums up why this is the pick of the week. One of my favorite ongoing titles. Great price. Excellent writing and terrific artwork. You couldn't have said it better, buddy. There we go. Well, thank you so much for hanging out, you guys. Uh, hope you had a lot of fun. Can't wait till next week to see what else uh, we add to my comic book collection. Please, like I said, don't forget to hit that like button, share the video, subscribe, comment down below. Let me know who your favorite hero is. Let me know what your favorite book was today. There we go. Raise the roof, guys. And remember, this is not goodbye. Simply to be continued until next time. Don't spend that quarter anywhere else. Thank you so much for hanging out, guys. Later. Is this coffee still any good? I don't know. Ah. Mm. Oh, and the water's back on, so I'm going to go take a shower and maybe go make a...